earlier, while President Biden was meeting with President Xi, protesters were actually outside the Chinese consulate and marching through San Francisco, voicing concerns rarely expressed in China. This is President Xi's first visit to the U.S. in more than six years, and his first time returning to San Francisco since he was a young Communist Party secretary. Lauren Toms talked to the protesters who came out to send a message to the Chinese president. It's a rare opportunity to protest against Chinese President Xi Jinping, even from a distance. When he sees this, um, he definitely will feel very vulnerable and he will feel very insecure about his power. But that's exactly what brought Anna Kwok to San Francisco. We don't know when it's the next time we're going to be able to protest against Xi Jinping so directly. She was born and raised in Hong Kong, but she can't return and today rallies for herself, her family and others who have been jailed for speaking out against the Chinese government. If I did return to Hong Kong now, I'll be arrested immediately with lifetime imprisonment. Earlier this year, China issued a warrant for her arrest and a one million Hong Kong dollar bounty equal to nearly 130,000 U.S. dollars for what she says was nonviolent advocacy work outside of China. Definitely not the place I grew up in. And that's not the future I've imagined myself you know, having to live. They have essentially erased any sort of, you know, livable life for our entire generation. Anna is one of hundreds who marched through the streets of San Francisco against Xi Jinping's government as he participates in a high-level meeting with President Biden. And his presence alone is significant, says Nancy Park, a Chinese history expert at Cal State East Bay. This is important because it's one more step, but it's also highly visual. It's highly, it, it's, the optics are important because it, it shows both countries that there is an attempt at a rapprochement between the two countries. The visual protests are significant too, she says, as it gives Xi a front row seat to global criticisms against his government. It's a completely different situation. Um, China is a country that very closely controls its media. It's uh, very carefully controls uh, protests. Uh, there are, if depending on the level of the protest, the nature of the protest, a person can be forced to be quiet or in some cases disappeared. And that's the case for loved ones of Carmen Lau. She's wanted in Hong Kong for speaking out against China's controversial national security laws, but flew out from London to be as close to Xi Jinping as possible in voicing her anger at his government. We can never go back to Hong Kong until Hong Kong is free. For Anna, she marches for a return to her home, if not for herself, for the next generation. I'm returning to Hong Kong is the reason I'm doing all of this, being reunited with people I love, people I care about and fighting for a free and democratic home that we really, really hope for. And a hope that the power of hundreds will penetrate to the power of Xi.